Hi friends, welcome to Wisdom is Power channel. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Click the notification bell to receive more wisdom videos like this. Thank you. Right now, we're going to discuss about the capacitance of a single phase transmission line. So let us assume we have two conductors here with uh, radius of R and separated by the distance D. So the capacitance between these two conductors can be calculated as C is equals to pi epsilon zero over the natural logarithm of D over R farad per meter. So where C is the line-to-line -line capacitance expressed in farad per meter, D is the distance between the conductors, R is the actual radius of the conductors, epsilon zero is the permittivity of free space, which has a value of 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12 farad per meter. And for the line-to-neutral capacitance, this can be calculated as C sub n, this is equal to 2 pi epsilon 0 over ln d over r farad per meter. Where C sub n is the line to neutral capacitance, d is the distance between the conductors, r is the actual radius of the conductor, epsilon 0 is the permittivity of free space, which has a value of 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12 farad per meter. This value is a constant value for the permittivity of free space. So let's have a practice problem number one. So a single phase transmission line has two parallel conductors three meters apart. Radius of this conductor being one centimeter, calculate the capacitance of the line per kilometer. So let us try to write all the given first. So again, we assume that the frequency of the transmission line is 6 thirds. And the distance between these two conductors is 3 meters. And the radius is equals to 1 centimeter. So if we're going to com convert the 1 centimeter into meter, that will be equals to 0 0.01 meter. So again, we are asked to solve for the capacitance of the line per kilometer. So for the solution, capacitance is equals to pi multiplied by the epsilon zero over ln d over r. So we will just plug in all the given values. Pi multiplied by the value of the permittivity of free space, which is equals to 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12, all over ln 3 meter over 0 0.01 meter. So the capacitance is equals to 4.87 times 10 to the negative 12 farad per meter. So since we are asked to solve for the capacitance per kilometer, so we need to convert this uh, the, the answer from farad per meter to farad per kilometer. So we will just simply multiply this by our conversion factor of 1,000 meter over one kilometer so that the meter will uh, be canceled. So th the remaining unit will become farad per kilometer. So the answer is the capacitance is equals to 4.87 times 10 to the negative nine farad per kilometer. Practice problem number two, a single phase line Operating at 60 hertz, consisting of two copper conductors having 0 0.7 centimeter radius and 1.5 meter spacing between conductors. The line length is 32 kilometers. Determine the line to line capacitance. So obviously the, the problem is clear. There, there are two conductors separated by 1.5 meters, and each conductor has a radius of 0. Centimeter. So the total length of our transmission line is 32 kilometers and the radius is 0 0.7 centimeter. 
And if we're going to convert that into meter, that will be equal to 0 0.007 meter. So again, we are asked to solve for the line-to-line -line capacitance. So for the solution, the capacitance is equal to pi multiplied by epsilon 0 over ln d over r. So simply plug in all the given values. Then the capacitance will be 5.18 times 10 to the negative 12 farad per meter. And since we are asked to solve for the capacitance, so we should eliminate the per meter in the unit. So by simply multiplying by our conversion factors of 1,000 meter over 1 kilometer, and multiply by the total length of the transmission line. So all units will be canceled. So the remaining unit will become farad. So capacitance is equal to 1.66 times 10 to the negative 7 farad, or simply 166 nano farad. Practice problem number three, a 12 mile. Single phase, 60 hertz transmission line has a conductor spacing of 5 feet as shown below. Determine the line to neutral capacitance, the total capacitance, and the total capacitive reactance if the radius of each conductor is 0 0.2 inch. So let us try to, the, to write again the, the given, the frequency is 60 hertz. The distance between two conductors is 5 feet. The radius is 0 0.2 inch, and the length of our transmission line is 12 mile. So we are asked to solve for the line to neutral capacitance, the total capacitance, and the total capacitive reactance if the radius of this conductor is 0 0.2 inch. So for the solution, the radius is 0 0.2 inch. So let us convert this into feet. So using a multiplier or a conversion factor of one foot is equals to 12 inch. Then R is equals to 0 0.017 feet. And to solve for the line to neutral capacitance, that is 2 pi epsilon 0 over ln d over R. So just plug in all the given values and the line to neutral capacitance will be 9.78 times 10 to the negative 12 farad per meter. So we have conversion factors. One mile is equals to 5,280 feet and one meter is equals to 3.28 feet. So the 9.78 times 10 to negative, negative 12 farad per meter we will uh, determine the capacitance of the line to neutral capacitance by eliminating or canceling the units of per meter. So using our conversion factor, we will multiply it by one meter over 3.28 feet. Then again, we will multiply it by 5,280 feet over one mile multiply by the total length of the transmission line, which is 12 mile. So all units will be canceled so that the remaining unit will become farad. So the line to neutral capacitance is equals to 1.89 times 10 to the negative 7 farad or simply 189 nano farad. So to solve for the total capacitance, the capacitance is equal to pi epsilon zero all over ln d over r. So simply plug in the given values. So the capacitance is equal to 4.89 times 10 to the negative 8 times 10 to the negative 12, I mean, farad per meter. So again, using our conversion factors to eliminate the per meter unit, so we simply multiply it by our conversion factors and by the total length of the transmission line. 
So all units will be cancelled. So that the remaining unit will become parad. So the capacitance is equals to 9.46 times 10 to the negative 8 parad or simply 94.46 nano parad. For the capacitive reactance, so the capacitive reactance is equals to 1 over 2 pi Fc. So that is equals to Capacitive reactance is equal to 1 over 377. That is the angular velocity, which is, we all know that whenever the frequency is 60 hertz, the angular frequency or the angular velocity is 377. Multiply by the value of the computed capacitance, which is 94.46 times 10 to the negative 9, because that is equal to nano. So the capacitive reactance is simply 28.08 kilo ohms. So that's all, my friends. If you are new to my channel, again, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Also, click the notification bell to receive more wisdom videos like this. Thank you, and see you next time in our wisdom video. Thank you.